or it's a ketone. So, uh, so there are two different tests. So one is a test with Tollens reagent and the other is a test with Felling solution. So you can carry out any one of these tests and you'll get the result. So, uh, tol what, so let's see what, so let's talk about the Tollens test first. So what is Tollens reagent? So Tollens reagent is ammoniacal silver nitrate. Now, ammoniacal silver nitrate is basically silver nitrate in ammonia. Now, uh, it's just not silver nitrate, uh, uh, silver nitrate in ammonia. It's an alkaline solution of silver nitrate dissolved in ammonia. So alkaline silver nitrate dissolved in ammonia. Now the condition is you have to heat uh, this reaction. So when you add um, uh, Tollens reagent uh, to the aldehyde to the carbonyl compound, or if you add the carbonyl compound to uh, the Tollens reagent, you have to heat the mixture. And when you heat, uh, you will you, you can have two different observations. So one observation is a silver mirror, which will happen if the carbonyl compound is an aldehyde. And the other observation is that no change is taking place, which will happen with the ketone. So what you have to remember is that if the carbonyl compound is an aldehyde, you will see a beautiful silver mirror. And if the uh, carbonyl compound you are testing is a ketone, you will see no reaction. You will see no change is happening in the reaction mixture. So actually this is because what happens is that the aldehyde can be oxidized further to the carboxylic acid. So it does get oxidized further and it actually gets oxidized to the carboxylate ion rather than the carboxylic acid and uh, because obviously it's an alkaline solution so the carboxylic acid will donate its H plus ion to the alkali so what you you what you get is uh, the carboxylate ion but in the case of a ketone you cannot have any oxidation because as I told you ketones are not oxidized further so as ketones are not oxidized further uh, the problem uh, what will happen is that there will be no reaction with Tollens reagent so this is the reaction which takes place with aldehyde and there is no reaction with the ketone. So the observation is very important. It's a beautiful, it's a silver mirror because the Ag plus gets reduced to silver. So you see silver. Now uh, you should note down this reaction and everything over here. So felling solution. So this is a different test. So felling solution is an alkaline solution with Cu2 plus ions, Cu2 plus ions, which are Q plus ions. Uh, and the condition is heat. So obviously uh, you will, what you'll do is that you will add the aldehyde or ketone, which is the carbonyl compound to the to felling solution and you will heat it. And what you will see is that the solution was initially pale blue and it will turn to a brick red precipitate if there is an aldehyde. So if the carbonyl compound is an aldehyde, you will see a change from a pale blue solution to a brick red precipitate. But if it's a ketone, if the carbonyl compound is a, is a ketone, again, no change. So ketones have no reaction with both Tollens reagent and felling solution, but aldehydes do react with both solutions. So uh, uh, this is again because the aldehyde gets oxidized, but you know that ketones cannot get further oxidized. So the aldehyde gets oxidized again to the carboxylate ion and you see a brick red precipitate because the Cu2 plus is reduced to Cu2O, which is uh, the Cu plus ion bonded with O2 negative ions. So this is copper one oxide. So you see the brick red precipitate because of this, because of this compound and the observation and this reaction is very important. So you, you should learn all of this. So now we can move forward. So now we know how to, how to test for a carbonyl compound in general. So the DNPH test gives the same result with both aldehydes and ketones. And the Tollens and Felling test, it gives a particular uh, uh, observation with aldehydes and a particular observation with ketones. So let's move forward. Now, now what we are going to do is the nucleophilic addition mechanism. Uh, so the nucleophilic addition mechanism, it happens with both aldehydes and ketones. And it's basically the, the, the specific type of nucleophilic addition we will do is uh, the addition of the nitrile group, which is the CN group into a carbonyl compound. So uh, what happens is, let's start with, uh, so uh, let's first define a nucleophile. You know that a nucleophile is an electron rich species, which means it has a lot of electrons and it's what it wants to give away its electrons. So let's start with a carbonyl compound. So it can be an aldehyde or a ketone. So let's leave these two uh, 
these two bonds open ended it can be anything but the main thing is the carbonyl group and what happens in this reaction